start off by applying my face moisturizer. And you guys, I'm still using my Polish Choice. This stuff is bomb. I highly recommend it. I've repurchased this so many times. I know I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I literally buy this stuff. Like, I love it so much. Alright, next I'm gonna apply my eye cream and I've been using this every single day and I love it so much. This is from Soap and Glory. It's the Puffy Eye Attack Turbo Boost Hydrogel and I just, you know, put this underneath the eye area and it feels so good. Like it says, it's hydrogel, so it's like water. I'm also going to be applying a lip balm. This is Je ne from It Cosmetics. It is my favorite lip balm. It does an amazing job on just really keeping my lips moisturized, you know, soft and smooth all day. It's amazing. I love this balm and the packaging is amazing. Look at it. It's magnetic. <laughs> Alright, so this is something new that I wanted to try out today. I recently just got it. It is from... Japonesque or is it Japonesque or Japonesque? I don't know how to say it, but um, it is the Luminous Foundation Flawless Liquid Makeup and I got it in the shade number six So I'm hoping this is the right shade It looks pretty light, but I do like to go a little bit lighter than what I am. I just think that looks better but um, Yeah, so we'll see if this is good. So right off the bat. I already love the packaging so beautiful. So to apply this, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it on the back of my hand. Just a tad bit. So we're going to use that much. I don't like touching foundation. Is that weird? So I'm going to use the back of this foundation brush from, from Tarte. And I'm just going to dab this all over. Ooh. So, I mean, I can use this brush to apply this, but I really want to see how it looks with just a sponge. Not bad. It's blending in really well. I can tell already that it doesn't have that good of a coverage. But, I mean, it evened out my complexion pretty well. But I can still see my imperfections, so the coverage isn't, it's very light. Alright you guys, so the coverage isn't that great. I mean like it's a very light coverage, but it doesn't look bad either. I feel like it did a pretty good job on kind of like evening out my skin tone. And I'm sorry if it got, just got real dark all of a sudden. But I think I'm going to do another layer and see how that looks. Because this is a little too light of a coverage for me all right you guys so excuse my little ears i had to put it on because my hair keeps getting in the way um but okay so this is what the foundation looks like i think it looks pretty good very natural i love the finish um it doesn't feel cakey or sticky or anything like that um I like it so far. I would say that the coverage isn't the best if you're the type of person that likes medium to full coverage. This isn't for you. It's more of a light to almost medium coverage. So yeah, that is that. So far, I like it. I would definitely wear this on an everyday basis. I think it looks really good. Um, I don't see any creasing or anything like that. Again, it looks very natural, so I'm very happy. Alright, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the Born This Way Concealer and this is in the color light medium and I'm just going to brighten up the under eye area and again, I'm just using the Real Techniques sponge to blend all of this out. The Laura Mercier powder, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye and I'm just going to grab a sponge to do this and I'm gonna let that sit for a while um, I don't do too much baking like this is a very light layer of it but I'm gonna let it sit for a while and I'm gonna do my brows so I'll be right back all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes um, I'm gonna be using this Jouer palette this is the essential matte and shimmer eyeshadow palette I have been using this non-stop I love it so much it's just perfect it has all the neutrals that you need and also like kind of like the pops of colors I love this for every day so the first shade I'm gonna take is this one right here it has more of a yellow undertone that is matte vanilla 
And I'm just going to apply that onto my brow bone area and kind of like dragging it down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, for my crease color, I'm going to take Macchiato. I love the names of this. I never realized what they were until now. I'm going to just apply that onto the crease. Just really blend it out. I want this to be really nice and soft. Just perfect for every day. Nothing too crazy. You can definitely build this up. Sometimes I do. And, you know, perfect for date night or something. Um, using the colors from this palette so yeah I love this palette you can create a lots of looks and then I like to take a desert and pretty much layer that on top of what we just did it's such a pretty like orangey brown color it's perfect for fall I love it so I'm like going in windshield wiper motions at the same time doing circular motions if that makes sense it just really blends everything together. Now I'm going to take the color Fresco and apply that with a flat shader brush and apply that onto the inner part of the lid. And that is that for the eyes. Like super easy, you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply falsies. I'm going to be using the ones from Red Cherry. They're the wispy lashes. I love them. Perfect for every day. Well, for me at least. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and dust off this powder. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using this powder from Japanese. I really, really love it. I have it in the color number two. And I'm just going to set my whole face with this. This is like my new favorite powder, you guys. And to contour, I'm actually going to use the same powder, just a darker shade. I have this in the color number four, and this was my color earlier, like in the summer, but, you know, I lost my tan, so now it's like my contour shade or like my bronzer shade, so I'm just going to lightly contour with this. See, look at that. This was me, like a few months ago. Can you believe it? It was so dark. I'm also going to contour my nose, and this is what I've been doing lately. I take like a flat, like an angled shader brush, and I make my lines. And then I take a fluffy blending brush, and just blend this out, like up here, and also downwards a little bit. And then to really, you know, blend it out right here on the sides, I take my powder. And I'm going to use this blending brush, get a little bit of that, and just really blend it out here on the sides. And that's all I do. That is how I contour my nose. I love it. Okay, now this is something new. I got the Je ne sais quoi palette from It Cosmetics, and it's beautiful. I haven't used it yet, so we're going to try it out today. I'm going to use the blush right here. Um, the shade is... Doo -doo -doo. Bye Bye Pores Blush Je ne sais quoi. That's what it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Ooh, I didn't know this is a translucent powder. Awesome. I'm going to use the blush. Can you see it? I can kind of see it. It's like a pretty pink. Ooh, damn, that's a lot. Let it go. It's a really pretty pink. Okay. I'm going to go in with, uh, I'm going to try this translucent powder. I'm just taking my Real Techniques um, sponge here. Ooh, okay. Okay. That really brightened that up a little. That's nice. And then we're going to dust it off. Ooh. It made my under eye brighter. I like that. All right, now on to, this is the highlight. It's the perfect lighting luminizer. Um, we're going to see how it is. I feel like nothing is getting on my brush. Okay, 
I see it. It looks pretty. I don't know if I love it. It looks pretty though. I'm actually going to try a different one on this side. There's that. Very natural. I'm going to try the Makeup Forever number... I don't know what number this is, but this is the rose gold. It's stunning. I'm going to try this on this side. They're kind of similar. Alright, so onto the lips. I'm going to use this guy from Jouer. It's the color... It's the lip cream in the color Terra. I love this color so much, you guys. It's so perfect. Alright, I almost forgot. I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line. So I'm going to take the color to do dark chocolate. I'm going to start from the outer corner and then blend it inwards. Sand. I'm going to take sand and apply that onto the tear duct area to really just brighten that up. Then I got it in my eyeball. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm going to use the Voluminous Feline Noir um, from L'Oreal. I love this mascara. It's really good. Alright love, so this is the finished look so far. I really love this foundation. And yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this little everyday makeup routine that I do. Except of course that I use like a few different things. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. If you want to see more Get Ready With Me videos or anything like that, um, just let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to get notifications whenever I upload, definitely click that little bell down below. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you all soon in my next video. Mwah. Bye!